so this is the topic wilson vision on public administration and it is one of the regular topic you should consider upsc frequently ask question from this topic that is the wilson vision vision on public administration uh, you should consider here the reason very obvious uh, it was the woodrow wilson that made this subject separate made this subject independent from the political science that is why he is considered as the father of public administration so how a subject can avoid the inventor the discover so the contribution of uh, woodrow wilson is still considered as seminal phenomenal what he did he not only uh, made this subject very separate very independent with a very we can say short essay that was the study of administration published in 1887 and this sole contribution recognized this subject as a separate subject so here obvious the contribution of woodrow wilson was very determinant woodrow wilson at that point of time means 1887 was uh the time was the phase when he was just a reader just a scholar of this subject later he reached uh to the zenith and he become this is the poster when he become the president of united state of america and it was very critical you know very well during 1914 to 1918 it was the time when world witnessed the zolt the flame of first world war and this was the person who not only uh, not only managed the american administration but also attempted to provide solution truce the uh, the league of nation is considered as the brain child of this uh, woodrow wilson so woodrow wilson later attempted to provide solution and that is why his recognition recogni uh, he was recognized for the nobel peace prize so he later achieved to that zenith that is quite high for a common man the question is that why woodrow wilson attempted to made this subject independent very uh, different from the political science earlier the study of uh, the administration were considered as the part of political science uh, whether chanakya whether plato whether aristotle all uh, explored this dimension along with the discussion of political science but woodrow wilson recognized some very unique thing that is why he wrote the essay what happens we will uh find out that reasons since beginning we should find out so it is the time when renaissance and enlightenment came in europe and this was the time when the era of voyages and discovery came what happens the brave uh brave navigator is started the discovering new part of land and this way the columbus discovered the very new place of land it was the united state of america what happens so the situation is very clear united nation united state of america was not ruled by any hereditary rulers the fresh government uh, with support of britain and european gradually established here what happens later so britain is started the very draconian or we can say very uh, very controlled policy for americans and american were very impressed with the idea of liberty even freedom even governance even participation so american said that why britain is violating their own principle so on the basis of that understanding the american has started revolution against the british occupancy 
it culminated and very uh, uh, very we can say the coordinated effort of american made this country a free country the independent country in the year 1780 uh, 7076 it was finally thereafter the constitution they started writing constitution for their country it happens it took about uh, 10 years and finally in 1789 this constitution enacted in united state of america at that point of time you know very well it was george washington the very courageous very visionary leader was there and he attempted to provide all such services that he felt that uh, essential for the administration again the american constitution what american constitution did american constitution uh, laid down a very we can say broad framework for the government it said that separation of power will be there means government shall be divided between uh, shall be divided into legislative executive and the uh, judicial branch again federalism will be there it means a state and the federal government will be different and both will have power to operate their affairs bill of rights citizen uh, empowered with the fundamental right and it was the very first time then uh, it happened rigid constitution it said that no constitution shall be changed ordinarily like ordinary process judicial review was there means if administration suppose violate the mandate of constitution in that case this will be subject to judicial review and judiciary declared very independent so this way what happens you should keep in mind a very strong constitution very operational constitution were uh, written by the constituent assembly of america and this was with the vision that we in future provide the best solution for the people political science uh, contributed up to this constitutional development thereafter what first generation of political leader in america uh, advanced advanced the very uh, we can say visionary pol policy and they hired the uh, very talented personals for executing the administrative policies but later what happened despite the in, uh, independent judiciary judicial review even right citizens right the administration is started deterioration this was the erosion happen and how it happened so by 1820 a spoiled system came into america constitution laid down the formal provisions about right authority legitimacy etc but constitution avoided the idea for the administration and this basically was the area that provided enough opportunity for the aspirational leader what was a spoil system you know very well a spoil system is kind of sharing benefit sharing the benefit means american administration were co were quite unorganized it was uh, said that the president president or governor who is elected by the citizens can later appoint the talented officers by their choice, by their choice. and earlier this maintain dignity but later what happens he is started allocating the post to their near and dear huh. near and dear nepotism was there favoritism was there even undue interference of supporters was there now the thing is very clear what happens so this lobby of administrative body is started fulfilling their own interest their own aspiration 
they now avoided the citizens concerned with their poverty with their hunger with their industrial development all become the uh, the subsidiary objective and the principal objective was earning the money this was the idea of america american administration at that point of time what happens so we we'll know very well a frustrated aspirant frustrated person killed the then american president and it was the president james garfield means high level assassination is it was happened it occurred this was the level of frustration you can imagine means america uh, america uh, dive deep into the corruption now what happens some sort of solution the american government uh, attempted and this was the pendleton act with pendleton act they pendleton act 1883 they attempted to provide solution for this uh, 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 spoil system what happens some post uh some post excluded from this kind of appointment practices only few post and this few post was very determinantal secretariat level post remain reserved for the presidential choice means lower level the pendleton act said that lower level shall be recruited on the basis of merit but higher level still will have to adhere the principle of the spoil system means the solution was not enough what happens later situation went on and the entire american society faced witnessed the political social even humanitarian crisis during that point of time means this was the country that reached at the collapse due to breakdown of administrative system in this point of time who came to woodrow wilson now came woodrow wilson came and woodrow wilson identified this deteriorating situation very clearly very firmly he know very well that formulation of constitution is easy than the execution of constitution so if we say there must if our constitution say that justice equality fraternity liberty shall prevail prevail but if administration cannot ensure that in that case how it will be uh, figure out it will be exercised by the individual the implementation of that principle depends lies upon whom lies upon administration and woodrow wilson identify this thing that is why now what happens so woodrow wilson personal life if uh, we should consider here in detail thereafter uh, this is not part of uh, mains examination you should just highlight some point otherwise these are just for our concept building so we will conceptualize the idea very well so woodrow wilson was born in the saint uh, santon virginia united state 1883 it was 1830 and study political science so he was the a student of political science again he acquired obtained phd in 1887 uh, with the subject history and political science he wrote first book congressional government it means that the study of woodrow wilson here uh, provide us idea he poses a sound knowledge of the political science how politics work he know very well that is why he identified that flaws and lacuna thereafter he become uh, the president of american political science association again thereafter governor of new jersey and thereafter finally the president of united state so he actually a practitioner of politics as well as very we can say uh, with the sound knowledge of political science now meanwhile what happens so during his journey woodrow wilson interacted confronted 
with this grim situation of American society. Now, on the basis of his sound knowledge, he concluded that the reason behind this administrative background uh, breakdown or sufferings of people is only one. That is lack of sound administrative principle, sound administrative things. It happens again and a spoil system, he believed that it is the culprit, it is the evil that has uh, rotten our American system. During that point of time, some very popular scholar was there. Among them, Edmund Burke, Walter Bighot, and this was the professor Robert T. Ellie. If you quote the name, it will provide you age. So these are the very, uh, we can say, fact we should keep in mind for the Wilson. So v Wilson was very impressed with the idea of Burke, Big Hot and Ellie. All, uh, all provided Woodrow Wilson idea to come forward and say something for the deteriorating administration. Now, taking all such things together. Finally, Woodrow Wilson wrote this essay that is the study of administration. Now, he started writing. Woodrow Wilson starts with uh, providing the idea or we can say providing the nature of administration and government. Woodrow Wilson say that, look, administration and politics are quite different administration is now uh, is uh, become the government in action means what government does it is the execution it is the work of the administration like suppose government is dealing with industries dealing with taxes dealing with suppose water dealing with electricity all are part of administration and it must not confused with the politics. So politics is quite different thing. Administration are quite different thing. First, he attempted to clarify this differences. It happens here, you can get this idea. Ki suppose we say these are the group of politicians and these are the group of administration. Suppose the home minister is here or defense minister is here. Can they execute the policy related with home or defense? Can uh, the minister execute the policy related with uh, the defense and the uh, defense and the home at ground level? At ground level. So at ground level ha, suppose ha, so here you should consider ki we appointed a very wise leader, a very brilliant leader at the post of minister, but we uh, provided them a very weak, very uh, suppose weak and feeble, very ill, sick administrative body. Can they execute it very well? It means that if a structure is not very clear, training is not very clear, if, uh, if suppose equipment are very outdated in that case, a wise minister cannot handle the problem related with the law and order or defense. So this idea, Woodrow Wilson, this things distinguish these two things. Earlier, political science considered that if we create a very democratic institution, it will provide a solution for all. But they avoided that capacity of administration basically determines the quality of the uh, services, quality of the facilities. So this Woodrow Wilson first identified that. Again, here we can take here. Suppose uh, we elected our rail minister, we elected our education minister, road transport minister. But our administrative body is not so suppose skilled is so suppose expert how can a very well policy will figure out or will came into effect 
so if administrative uh, bottleneck is there administrative weaknesses is there no sound policy can be effective all right kuch clear ho raha hai fir se isko suno kya de raha hai ki woodro wilson highlighted that the पॉलिटिकल साइंस वट पॉलिटिकल साइंस डिड तो पॉलिटिकल साइंस ऑफर और द स्टडी ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स ऑफर दैट पीपुल विल डिसाइड द स्टेट एंड देयर देयर रूलर्स मास्टर्स सपोज पीपुल इलेक्टेड अ वेरी साउंड पॉलिटिकल लीडर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ रेलवे फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ हाउसिंग फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ एजुकेशन okay means we elected most learned most brilliant person and we said that sir please uh, execute the policy for this purposes but what happens here the entire mechanism through which he will uh, execute the policy is avoided uh, till date or there is no such consideration about administrative apparatus suppose administration is not able to run the trains administration is not very educated to provide the quality education to their students again technology related with the road is quite outdated how a single minister can uh, do here so he will the he does not provide us the desired level of services political science basically not provide a solution for the services this uh, person highlighted that you have started discussion discourse in political science but you avoided completely the aspect of administration so what woodrow wilson says woodrow wilson say administration is the most obvious part of government and it is government in action it is the executive the operative and most visible side of government and uh, woodrow wilson says that the objective of administrative study is to discover what government can properly and successfully does as well as how it can do these thing with utmost possible efficiency means it means that again another objective he identify for this subject that rescue rescue executive method from confusion and coast line of empirical experiment what is empirical experiment it means that suppose a political leader came and he feels that a uh, development of uh, a small and medium size enterprises can ensure the employment to all next government came and it uh, believes that no only the large scale industries can provide the solution so there is experimentalities kind of uh, trait here so he says that no this kind of experiment or lack of efficiency cannot be tolerated now so here we need a very a uh, deep understanding how functions can be executed and if we have the idea we can provide the solution for all miseries all sufferings so this way he emphasized that administrative study should uh, organize properly should organize systematically this was the idea of woodrow wilson again so it is obvious why now one can ask this question ki why the study separate study of administration is at this point of time at this moment so woodrow wilson was uh, very clear about that people will ask this question ki why uh, now why not earlier the separate study of administration is there so woodrow wilson justified explained this things properly woodrow wilson says that look earlier the state was quite small means it was the period of absolute ruler absolute ruler means the sovereign monarch or the tribal king and it was quite uh, very easy for that monarch 
to redesign to readjust even modify the administrative structure now consider here what did uh, what our muhammad bin tughlaq muhammad bin sorry ye yeah. this was uh, this was uh, the, the one more ruler means during uh, the medieval period several ruler came and they initiated modernization of the bureaucracy modernization of their government so they can do so reason behind it they are autocrat autocrat and no one can ask them why you have did so so it was very easy for them again the functions of state at that point of time very limited so need not to uh, read this subject very deeply what later happened so there after the struggle of constitutionalism uh, came and we know very well that russo came uh, thomas hobbes came even uh, like uh, uh, thomas hobbes even uh, several thinker at uh, that point of time came entered and they explained very well what is the nature of monarchy and what is the people so they highlighted that there is a contract between the state and the rulers and the ruler must be the representative of the people and this popular sovereignty finally came into the practice this was the situation again what happens so this uh democracy what did earlier there were a war war with sword war with bullet for what purposes for the power for the power for the hold means battle of panipat were fought for what uh all battle were fought for a very singular cause it was to control the delhi empire of india that was but what happens at present political party are fighting war against each other means bjp mobilizing people against congress for what purposes controlling the authority of india that is so here what happens democracy when democracy came uh, what happens so political tussle means influencing the people with policy with idea with belief with manifesto began again a state become stable than earlier it started functioning into all sphere of life so woodrow wilson identifies that after advent of government the political things become the central part of the government and the government <coughs> along with that that is started uh, intervening is started uh, is started executing the policy related with different matter whether it is suppose security whether suppose uh, social security whether it is the infrastructure whether it is foreign relation so over the time this democracy not only created the political problem along with that simultaneously the function of government increased so far now what happens so the issue related with here suppose growth of administration so here suppose what happens the american government now uh, now uh, now related with even all sphere of life they are executing policy related with all sphere of life but there is lack of clear understanding of administration this was the idea woodrow wilson highlighted again woodrow wilson explains that why we should initiate a study in america why not in europe so woodrow wilson again says that look american government is governed by the uh, uh, governed through the democratic uh, process it means the politicians uh, politicians mobilize people for support for their uh, support but here what is 
the thing most of the country means till 19th century most of the country were ruled by whom like britain is still ruled by whom spain or spain portugal even the France. norway sweden all are ruled by still ruled by the monarch monarchy prevail in europe and it is very easy for monarch to initiate the reform strategy but here what happens political party are there and they are looking to capture the political power not looking to modernize the administrative system that is why woodrow wilson said that it is the high time for americans to initiate to begin a separate study separate course for public administration and provide the scientific basis for administration only then people may have relief so this was the idea kuch clear ho raha hai sure ab aate hain aage next point bahut interesting hai it is one of the most interesting topic of public administration if we take this way agar aise isko lete hain to now come to the so according to woodrow wilson government has passed through three stages period of absolute rule a uh, struggle of constitutionalism and period of political tussle now what happens so it was the the third period which begin but lately for most country people felt themselves free to think and perfect and uh, perfect the machinery of democratic administration it was principal cause for late beginning in administrative thinking in america again again ha huh. so woodrow wilson then thereafter wilson felt that that negligence of administration in america is the reason for the the discussion for the debate for this separate study means wilson said that in america uh, administration is considered as very inferior kind of thing and no a scholar attempted to provide us reform strategy so far so it is obvious to initiate this he again says that that uh, that the question always and again here very interesting point woodrow wilson says so why politics cannot provide a solution for administration so woodrow wilson says here ki look politics was involved into constitution nature of state even sovereignty popular power etc the constitution uh, the political science always always concerned with who should make the rule uh, and what that should be and the question how the law should be administered equity speed without friction was there they avoided overall administrative uh, administrative thought so woodrow wilson said no now it is the time that uh, that the administration how administration should be there and how it will work become very essential for modern society again woodrow wilson say so what would be the nature of this subject it will be a art it will be a science it will be a philosophy it will be a history what kind of a study required by this subject woodrow wilson was very clear woodrow wilson say we must develop the science of administration means history has passed philosophy cannot provide the solution we should test our solution we should identify real world situation and in the light of real world situation we should design our strategy for reform very visionary idea it was science of administration it means that woodrow wilson not suggested for the development of science like pure science art pure science that is a uh, practical science we can suppose if we are uh, combining 
two molecules two atoms of hydrogen and with one atoms of oxygen it will produce what h2o so it will it will produce water everywhere whether it is earth whether it is moon whether it is america whether it is india the combination of two molecules of hydrogen with one molecules of oxygen always produce water so this was not the idea of the woodrow wilson woodrow wilson say that initiate detailed and systematic study like suppose uh, we have political science we use political science so what is political science it is the detailed and systematic study of political principles like right like justice like sovereignty like suppose equality so it provide us idea how equality should be how sovereignty should be similarly public administration should this subject should identify the administrative problem of real world and on the basis of that it should prescribe the uh, road map provide the solution for the administrative problem like for example uh, suppose there is a unskilled administrative body with government so in that case this subject should provide how they can skilled if there is the issue related with finance so this subject should provide how finance should be managed and how finance can promote the efficiency if there is the issue related with accountability so it should come with the good governance the rti the citizen charter kind of solution so this was the idea so it is the study of science and he says that yes it is right that it is the uh, fruit of that again wilson uh, illustrate this point and he say that broad plan for government action are not administrative thought the detail execution of such plan is thus wilson observed means administrative thought should provide idea how the government can execute their plan and policy seamlessly smoothly or very well again philosophical view so the study the study proper distribution of constitutional authority so this is related with the distribution of constitutional authorities as well now one more aspect uh, aspect explained by the uh, woodrow wilson woodrow wilson uh, was very clear about the nature of administration as well as politics so politics administration woodrow wilson very clearly says that the politics and administration are quite different woodrow wilson says the politics uh, politics is related with the power related with the suppose authority but this is the execution of the power and authority he says that the framing of law is quite easy than the execution of law political leader cares for that and administrative authority cares for the efficiency effectiveness and even for the result so both are quite different earlier he says he says that here first view so woodrow wilson very clearly says that the field of administration is the field of business and is removed from hurry and strip of politics what does it means remove from hurry and strip suppose a political power a political party came into power so there is a limited time span for hip only 5 year in india 4 year in america they now required to formulate as well as execute the particular policy to satisfy their voters so during four year they will do hard to achieve that result that manifesto if suppose they fail then next after four year again election is there so 
people may say you have not uh, fulfilled your promises your mandate so political party cares for their manifesto their promises but what administration does it is kind of permanent body he, no, administration cares for execution seamless execution efficiency productivity so he says that no administration are quite different administrative questions are not political question administrative questions are related with a structure which structure provide us best result it related with suppose the method like suppose uh, execute executive method like suppose implementation of ict can enhance efficiency so administration can implement the ict policy if suppose politics is concerned politics may also consider ict but still they feels that the direct contact may provide the best result so here questions are quite different politics may be based on the majority concert like suppose here majoritarian policies even you know very well this indian government also advances the policy that is very suitable favorable for majorities but administration cannot do so whether it is majority whether it is minority is it has to deliver equally the services to all again so this was the interpretation but woodrow wilson was very clear about a very unique uh, relation what was the unique relation it is an intimate relation now here we should uh, understand this uh, uh, take a example here suppose this is a pen or marker can it write itself if i suppose uh, have not did anything can he write anything so it will follow the wishes of holder or master similarly woodrow wilson know it very well he he very well aware with the fact that politics politics is the result of popular democracy and it is politics that hires the administrative body means our uh, administration is guided by whom so it is the political leader what the wishes or the suppose policy if political leader come into power on the ground of uh, certain promises certain declaration so it will be the guideline for the new administration now administration required to fulfill the idea the principles the rule formulated by the politics so administration cannot be very different from the politics politics decides the road map for the administration politics decides the ideology for the administration like suppose socialist principle we have how it become the part of administration reason behind it our political leader decided that socialist will be the nature of india and they are doing so so woodrow wilson say there is no line of demark demarcation justice li equality liberty freedom rights all are the part of political science It's still public administration protect that principle while executing the principles executing the policies so public administration is motivated guided guided by the political master as well as this subject will have connection with the political science and that is why this is very complicated relation some sort of business of public administration are quite separate some sort of business are quite inter uh, woven so that is the thing here woodrow wilson identified identified so woodrow wilson says on one hand that politics is a special province of statesmen and administration that of technical official he felt that administration and politics are separate so executive part if we consider politic politics political leader come uh, on the basis of the uh, people's support 
so this is the things besides that administration is synonymous with the private administration we will take it later and uh, some people criticizes that woodrow wilson was not very clear but the thing is that woodrow wilson was very clear reason behind it he was the student of political science he know very well how politics and administration is interconnected. interconnected so some people says that the woodrow wilson was not clear but he was very clear he know very intricate relation very complicated relation between the administration and political science again woodrow wilson uh, highlighted one more aspect that is the public administration as a business as running or uh, suppose uh, industries how so industries care for production similarly public administration cares for result the production uh, can be uh, can be determined on the basis of best technique if we implement the best technique our uh, agency our firm will produce the best result similarly public administration guided by the techniques guided by the structure guided by the methods and this way this is quite uh, similar to the business administration so this was the clear cut interpretation of woodrow wilson if we are looking to enhance productivity we should uh, go closer to this business firm we should uh, we should take the idea inspiration from that agency the subsistence any company is there the field of administration is field of business means profession so if you are highly professional it means you have to show your competence that required by the public administration you have to show your efficiency that required by even public administration you have to modernize up to date your structure that required by public administration so woodrow wilson was very clear that it is not kind of politics or kind of a structure merely it is guided by the principle of effectiveness even uh, the efficiency even the economy even the productivity so that will be the uh, nature of this subject and it must be so efficient to deliver on time services so woodrow wilson of the course that thing says that how a uh, wise woodrow wilson was this is the idea so even the line the statement uh, i have not uh, modified any line as written by actually there is a book for the thinker and a scholar it is prasad and prasad and very interesting fact with prasad and prasad you should be clear about that upsc takes the line from prasad and prasad and mix this question sir we should go for prasad and prasad i have collected so i have collected in note not only prasad and prasad Uh, as it is but also some additional dimension is there so like ncert prasad in prasad and prasad is the fundamental book for public administration so that is the similarity so need not to worry about that even uh, most of the uh, uh, books whether it is ignu whether it is avasthi maheshwari whether it is suppose mohit bhattacharya whether it is uh poli naidu most of the scholar uh uh scholar borrowed points from this uh prasad and prasad and prasad and prasad copied from original text so that is why this book is still it is about a, a 25 to 30 year old book bahut purani kitab it is not a new book but what he says what he did it is a very uh very we can say seminal it is very uh we can say phenomenal now so field of public administration is field of business and it is quite similar it depends on a structure it depends on technique it depends on efficiency it depends on the things so this should be now uh one more thing here morality so a uh, morality later woodrow wilson highlighted one more thing we take first this point thereafter we move ahead toward morality now woodrow wilson 
explained that how we in still or imbibe that technique to this american administration it is quite obvious so you have said that this subject must be scientific you said that efficiency effectiveness shall be the part of this subject so how this idea will be there woodrow wilson induced that go and research organize research around the world you will found the best practices how found so here woodrow wilson says the very interesting point he highlighted the statement we can read here woodrow wilson suggested the uh, the uh, scholars of administration go and identify the technique all around the world you may have suspicion you may have suspicion that particular technique is being implemented to satisfy the monarch or the imperialist ruler like suppose we have implemented macaulay committee recommendation in 1853 and we uh, organized the merit system in india and it was for fulfillment of the aspiration of britishers that was the thing woodrow wilson said that look here you should focus on technique not focus on the motives if suppose macaulay committee provide the clear cut idea of merit of the efficiency of the quality you should uh, borrow that idea you should avoid the intention so this say that ki if uh, you are you are suppose looking a person eating rice with chop stick in that case need not to borrow chop stick rather how rice is being cooked you should learn for this administrative system similarly if you saw suppose a killer a uh, sharpening their knife so you should not borrow the intention of that uh, killer that uh, uh, kill anybody rather you should borrow the technique of sharpening the knife so that is the intention he said like suppose uh, here for example uh, private sector is there and private sector are executing multiple policy for different purposes like suppose for example for example uh, some company like suppose airtel so airtel outsource the customer care services to bangalore based a specialized agency if this airtel perform this kind of things it means they reduce the operational cost and if operational cost will reduce marginal profit will be greater so this is the idea of airtel so why not this idea should be implemented with public administration if government suppose organize a work itself like suppose election so during election you know very well voter name master roll that is is being prepared by the bureaucrats suppose typing is speed are not very well uh, uh, to our clerk or to our officers we can hire some uh, contextual, contextual basis they will serve us so this person provided the we can say idea how to improve efficiency effectiveness in administration about so this way he said that the final uh, in the final section he said he rejected here very interesting fact is here philosophical method and historical uh, he rejected philosophical method and he said that that historical and comparative method you should implement hypothetical idea will not work philosophical means hypothetical on the basis of uh, the process of thought so he avoided hypothetical idea he said that go find out in history in the entire world the best practices and imbibe it with public administration you will have the solution so that was the idea given by the woodrow wilson here again woodrow wilson wrote very interesting point woodrow wilson say look my purpose is very clear i am not looking to create a bureaucratic elite that will be the near and dear of this master this sovereign 
i am looking to provide you the solution and that is the ethical sense of public duty now consider ethical what is ethics ha moral value of a society personal moral value is called morality so it is the overall understanding of society if society feels that this is appropriate that will be the value for society valuable for society and that will be the uh, ethics for the society so here he endorses for ethical sense of public duty means whoever is being appointed in administration must care for people plight people uh, miseries people sufferings and he dispose duty in the way provide them solution example is here very clear what poma tundu is doing here so poma tundu is officer chatisgarh cadre she realized that most of the tribal people are residing far away from the district headquarter so how can they afford even to visit the district headquarter why not district administration should visit the area where they are residing and if i go there i will found i will found the miseries problems very well and they see started visiting the villages of the sc and st community so this kind of thing reveals the sense of public duty so here morality wilson believe that administration administrator were in principle not involved in political process he was strongly opposed creation of bureaucratic elite means he rejected the idea of a spoiled system and he says nicolas henry expansion of the ethical sense of the public duty beyond the conceptual confines of civil services civil service reform which was then progress in america was only prelude a, uh, a moral preparation for the what is to follow this way he supported the idea of morality and even ethics and at that point of time even no such uh, under uh, understanding or even we can say few a uh, person heard this kind of word at at that point of time he guided this principle with this study of administration so this was the book the essay was not an ordinary essay rather it was quite comprehensive quite detail quite in depth the last uh, thing we should read here it is the new meaning of government so after this uh, the study of administration wilson wrote more books it is said that about 12 book he uh, wrote later and multiple essay he published so later he wrote an essay and he said that government must be on the consent uh, of the people based on the consent means it is based on the common understanding of the people government must not based on majority or few uh, uh, we can say interest it must uh, collect the interest again he endorses participation in government of all classes and all interest it must not be for particular political party particular group of influential people it must care the interest of down trodden and government must be a trustee trustee means caretaker government should not be the owner of the resources rather it should utilize the resources in the way that will fulfill the requirement of common man so that was the observation of woodrow wilson now this is all about the contribution of woodrow wilson but here limitations limitation is uh, remain now so this was the book the study the study so later he wrote and highlighted these point 
now limitation we will discuss here one by one the first argument against woodrow wilson is he was not the father of he cannot be considered the father of public address reason behind it very clear the first thing we should keep in mind the work on administration was not initiated by woodrow wilson earlier there were several or detailed work were done by different scholar on administration we learned kautilya arthashastra saptanga theory very detailed uh, structure description of the structure of mauryan administration is there again this person machiavelli so the italian scholar wrote the book the prince and literal meaning of the prince here is now a state so he credited with the first use of the word state in modern era thereafter again we can say here john locke came thomas thomas came bentham came several scholar attempted to explore the things related with the administration some more things are here for administrative reform administrative study what happens so cameralism this is very particular thing group of uh, uh, professionals was there professional teacher was there it was cameralist cameralist so what cameralist so cameralist was active in germany and austria and they they showed significant interest in the study of public administration research was to train candidate for civil services means training camp for civil servant were organized by the cameralist in germany and austria so this way they attempted to explain the nature of public administration prior to woodrow wilson again charles jean bonin this person he was the french writer a scholar charles jean bonin wrote the first book on public administration it was principale d need not to memorize this principale d administration publique which means principle of public administration very first book was written by charles jean bonin in france not by woodrow wilson so why one should consider his him as a father of public administration again this was the uh, picture of that book again in america hamilton came and he wrote the federalist hamilton political science scholar and he wrote federalist and in this book he provided some detail about american administration again what happens again in europe ha huh? so in europe and france several book were uh, published prior to woodrow wilson so critic says that he was not the father inventor of this subject rather he was motivated inspired with american uh, french and german development so it is we can say imported idea acknowledge even wilson himself acknowledged that bluntly was the source of idea of politico administration dichotomy so here the word daniel martin no one include white demock identify as a founding father of public administration so this is the question if we are suppose confronted or encounters that problem how to deal with that so here the thing is that if this question come then in introduction and some part of main body you should give for this detail ki woodrow uh, prior to woodrow wilson several seminal work very fundamental work were done like cotillia wrote machiavelli wrote even charles jean bonin wrote even france and germany experienced the rise of administrative thought but what happens so it was the woodrow wilson that determined this nature even the 
a scope and the feature of this subject and thereafter you should write the contribution of woodrow wilson how woodrow wilson made it very clear a separate status he demanded and thereafter you should say that the contribution of wilson was very particular earlier a scholar attempted to touch the public administration not uh, not attempted to made this separate stream and woodrow wilson did so we will discuss this question again again some say woodrow wilson was confused why he confused so he was not very clear with political politico administration relation on some part he says that political administration are quite different on some part he says that no the both are uh, quite interwoven so this is the ambiguity we can identify with the writings of the woodrow wilson but the true thing is that he was not confused he know the exact complicated nature of this again ha huh, uh, political administration dichotomy again next uh, huh, so this way woodrow wilson next ambivalent some uh, a scholar actually a scholar or critic so critic are for criticizing it is the fundamental work for the critic critic ambivalent on many issue means confused he raised more question than providing answer what the proper relationship should be between administrative political so most of the criticism based on that dichotomy and the borrowing the concept from the earlier development only two major uh, we can say criticism is there so nutsell is that that what woodrow wilson did if we suppose we have read the entire study of administration and their content so what content says what do you think about uh, this study of administration written by the woodrow wilson actually public administration is a part of political science ha huh. but before woodrow wilson there is no specifically uh, specific study was going about the public, public administration. administration so he introduced some new concept like new public management or no no here you should uh, concentrate on woodrow wilson what woodrow wilson did woodrow wilson was the first person who highlighted that administration is different and uh, politics is different and this uh, essay study on public ha we have to focus on the content of this and what we have discussed it is the content so woodrow wilson first identify administration is quite different from politics second he said that uh, why a study need at present right now so he said that functions of a state increased many time and it is very high time to initiate a separate discussion again he uh, identified the true nature of administration that is like business means efficiency effectiveness structure etc determines the execution thereafter he provided us idea how to make this subject more uh more enriched ha uh, comprehensive and enriched he said go and initiate comparative study historical study again he said that what is the nature it is not philosophy it is the answer for the practical solution the real world solution he said that it is a science so this way he not only provided the very detailed uh understanding of this subject but also he uh chalked out the chalked out means he identified the nature a scope even subject matter even the solution for american society even for the entire world that is why the content though it was very small letter a small essay but it was very we can say a uh, very precious very we can say sound understanding of administration abhi aage nahi jana isi pe sab kuch mil jayega theek hai there after other thing develop now impact woodrow wilson very strongly very vehemently said this pointed out this and 
uh, raise the demand for the formation, demand for separation of this subject. And this impact nowhere earlier. Earlier, such kind of demand were not made by any scholar, whether Cotillia, whether Machiavelli, Evo. So this made, these things makes this person father of public administration. It is Woodrow Wilson and their work that later motivated, insisted the scholar like Frank J. Goodnow, Taylor, Fayol, even Luther Gulik, Urvik, all such to come and provide the idea for the administration. That is why he is called father of public administration. Okay. So, we'll discuss some questions we will discuss. We will discuss some sort of idea related with question. Now, I think it's clear. Is it clear? So one of the most interesting topics of public administration, it is Woodrow Wilson. Sir, it's the main one. Who? It's the main one. Yes, it's have you received the volume of one? Haan. So you will find this note. Haan, unit six hai usme. So uh, notes and again, uh, suppose some uh, point you find out, uh, uh, find out with uh, suppose PowerPoint. So you should write there. Okay, this point is not there. I should write PowerPoint is very detailed. Notes are quite other form so that we should go through with all.